recent weeks, there has been a slew of sex scandals in the USA involving prominent men. Some of their misdeeds are allegedly criminal, some simply unfortunate. Few of them will have a happy result. Dr. David McKenzie is a couples counselor and a sex therapist who drops into Studio 4 once a month for a visit. It is my pleasure to welcome Dr. David McKenzie back to Studio 4 to tell us more. Hi, Fanny. Does your Hi. heart mean anything around your neck? Uh, go Canucks, go. Go Canucks, go. I was going to wear my jersey. Okay. But instead, I put it on the back of my chair. I thought maybe that was like, because last time I wore my jersey, we didn't win, right? <laughs> so we're, we're all into omens. And uh, I, was, I was listening to the Premier, Premier yeah. Clark, this morning, yeah. the CBC coming in. And she said, we're not lighting the fire <laughs> because we're not sure if it had anything to do yeah. with the last time the Canucks <laughs> were in Boston. But we're leaving that cauldron. <laughs> until they bring her home. Isn't it amazing how superstitious we become? The yeah. cave person's just below the surface. Now. I know, to think that I have anything to do with what went on in Boston <laughs> because I wore my jersey, but yeah. I'd like to think so. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's about power. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the key question to all of this, whether it's uh, John Edwards, uh, North Carolina senator, mm -hmm. who uh, had an affair mm -hmm. uh, with uh, a woman, and then he allegedly spent a uh, million dollars campaign funds or somebody's funds. Mm. He says he didn't. Yeah. So all that's alleged. Sure. But the point is, he had an affair when his wife was dying of cancer with a woman, mm. and then he had a child, a, a love child. Yeah. Now his wife is gone. Was well, yeah. she divorced him? It's a mess. Yeah, yeah. Still a yeah. mess. He's still yeah. a senator. Yeah. So what happens? Similar with Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger had a secret son, and the yeah. poor secret son yeah. is like be has been squirreled away with the mother yeah. because he's yeah. getting flack. Yeah. It's a mess, and yeah. Maria's wondering, well, yeah. she'll take care of it. And then with Congressman Weiner and his oh. uh, acting out online. Is that um, a different thing? Let's start well, there. Let's start with him, Anthony Weiner. Here yeah. he is, uh, New York, a uh, prominent yeah. congressman. What gets me is why he would do this on such a public medium like Twitter. Well, you know, I it's wouldn't like do it. Putting it on, on the Twitter. front page of the Vancouver Sun. I mean, it's really. No, weird. I know, but yeah. anywhere, yeah, like yeah. when you just think you or the person you're someone talking else to. or. Yeah. Yeah, myself so, yeah I yeah. want to put my parts on Twitter <laughs> yeah no one yeah, would care yeah. for a start yeah but it's but just like the what thing the, heck? the thing is it's there and men are naturally attracted to sex it doesn't mean men are pigs it just no. means that that's how men are e have evolved right what the internet has done is bring explicit erotic media right to the forefront you don't have to sneak into the drugstore to buy a girly magazine it's right there it's sure. free and so males will often uh, access that why do they do that? Oftentimes, it's actually to save the marriage. In a sexually starved relationship, often a man uh, using erotic media to have a sexual right. outlet is his only way of getting sexual relief. Really? Uh, yes. Because he's not getting... He's not uh, getting sex with his partner Sex at with home. his partner, yeah. so he goes someplace else. But in Wiener's case, no. yeah. uh, unfortunate name, but in, <laughs> in his case, he was having, uh, uh, showing his parts. Yeah. To women, but, yeah. Before he was married, and then after he got married yeah. and newly married, yeah. he was still doing it yeah, allegedly. Yeah, yeah. There, there are uh, clients who come to me who, almost because of their single life, have gotten into a habit, and uh, that becomes such a formative way of their sexual outlet of ma basically masturbation to uh, erotic media, right. commonly called porn, mm -hmm. uh, that even when they get married, they still rely on that. I do not call it addiction. I don't call it even compulsive sexual activity. I think it's a learned technique. Uh, I think, as Dr. Betty Dodson says, masturbation, all primates do it. It's self-comforting. It's self-healing. Right. It's important to do. Right. In fact, women who have never had an orgasm are women who have never masturbated. And so it's a very important mm -hmm. feature. Really? Yes, it is. Uh, uh, but w the important difference between, say, Edwards and Schwarzenegger and what Wiener is doing, I think, is quite critical. Uh, you'll find individuals like Clinton and others, you don't know what their marriage is like, and I can't comment on no. that. But there are many marriages in public life that have been dead for years, even decades. Mm -hmm. But there is this tacit agreement that we'll keep the image together mm -hmm. to look like we're a couple so we, sure. we can become president the or senator. The power couple. And we exactly. have no idea who's a power couple and exactly. who's not. And exactly. a power couple with no intimacy. Yep. John F. Kennedy, they said, yep. and, and uh, Jacqueline, yep. uh, stayed in separate bedrooms. Yep. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? And maybe they 
what we used to call it, TP creeping. <laughs> maybe, no, no. maybe in the <laughs> night somebody walked down the hall to go to the other bed. <laughs> but maybe the he snored. But the bottom what line, do we know? We know he had an affair with Marilyn Monroe. Oh, and he had a, he had relationships with many women. Mm -hmm. But uh, the bottom line is we don't know the, the details or the, the energy in their marriage. And so we tend to want to judge right. because Wiener has a beautiful wife. Why would anybody? We don't know what's going on. No, but we do know that very smart men <laughs> do really stupid yeah. things, yeah. Uh, take stupid risks yeah. Uh, yeah. without doing the math. Yeah. And is that because of sex, because of power? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, sex has brought down kings and presidents yes. uh, before. I mean, mm -hmm. that is an Achilles heel for males. And so uh, women have an awful lot of power mm -hmm. uh, that they don't realize sometimes. I, I think the issue of power does play into this. I think it's overemphasized, but I think the issue of power where men feel, or even women feel, sure. as though they can do anything and get away with it. Right, but what's wrong with getting a divorce? I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Maria have a lovely family. And but could he uh, ever be elected uh, governor as a divorced man? Uh, yes. You could. Yeah, yeah. You can be a divorced person, get elected governor. You can, but I think the American public would look on that a little bit more askance than yes. if somebody were married. So politics is more important. Oh, than absolutely. His personal life. I don't know about Schwarzenegger or Clinton or anybody, but right. all I know is that there are those who mm -hmm. keep the image alive, but their sex life is dead. And well, as human it's a beings, lie. It, it's it a is fib. a lie. But there are also marriages that are not in politics that are a lie, in of which course. there's no sexual energy. The engine's mm -hmm. missing, and so people will start to find that elsewhere. Or you say, let's just be buds. Yeah, uh, there you are know? marriages I in mean, which that's I mean, I love you madly, and I yeah. think you're swell. I'm yeah. not turned on to you anymore, but I, yeah. I like what we have. Yeah. So let's have an arrangement yeah. and yeah. carry yeah. on. Uh, that's right, and that's often what you'll find in mm -hmm. open relationships, for instance. Sure. In which uh, they've been with each other so long, they've built a financial empire, they have children in common, and it goes on and on. But, you know, um, as love grows old, love grows cold. Right. And uh, speaking sexually, that is, sure. not emotionally. No, I and there's too much to let go. But in Arnold Schwarzenegger's <laughs> case, where he is having a relationship yeah. with a woman mm -hmm. in the home, yeah. a woman who works for him yeah. in the home, yeah. and then he has a, a, a secret son. Yeah. And who knows when Maria knew, what yeah. she knew, we don't yeah. know. We don't That's know. not important. That's right. The point is, of all the women Arnold Schwarzenegger could have picked, mm -hmm. why her? Yeah. Uh, because it's uh, in the home, probably, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and nobody can see. Mm -hmm. I'm well, thinking, that if you're be, really smart, that could be. why would you go find somebody that c would tell? Yeah. Did you hear Tiger Woods' confession uh, after his mm -hmm. uh, philandering mm -hmm. and so on? Uh, his was strictly about power. He, he, when he said that, it was not about not having his needs met at home. It was strictly about, I have the power, I thought I could get away with it. Um, yeah. And yeah. I'm on the road, and I'm on the road. she won't know, and I love her madly, exactly. and she's my wife. Exactly. But, but in politics, I think it is a different kettle of fish altogether. Mm -hmm. I really do. Really? I think there, there are more variables in that. And or at a high level in a, any job. Well, what gets me is how do they hide this? I mean, here they are politicians with people around them. How do they hide these affairs? And I know that for Kennedy, I mean, his people used to cover for him. And, oh, you uh, bet. Yeah, I they, knew some of those people. Did you really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. I knew uh, some junior senators in Texas. There's more to that story. Wow. Did you know John F. Kennedy personally? Uh, no, <laughs> but I knew... Uh, I'm joking. I, I knew... No. <laughs> well, just catch you there, Fanny. But, you know, I understand the, I understand the lure of a John F. Kennedy sure. or a Bill Clinton. I certainly do. A, a man, women marry oh, power. Absolutely. Women are attracted to power. Yeah. And when the power is also attractive... Yeah. yeah. Didn't you say you know, you've never seen a poor man yet with a trophy wife? Not many. Women are naturally attracted to wealth and power. Yes, and intelligence <coughs> mm -hmm. and sense of humor. That's right. Look at Henry Kissinger. Yeah. Uh, he had more dates than most men. Really? A lot. Wow. And he wasn't a looker necessarily, but mm -hmm. he had the great brain. Yeah. He had, was, was, had lots of power. Of course. He's close to the president. People yeah. say, well. Yeah. And I don't know, do you think women like to go away and say, of course they do. Of course they do. <laughs> Guess what I did. Of course they do. <laughs> I've heard really? women say that before. Of course, yeah. Mm. It's about power. It's about mm -hmm. prestige and status. Sure. Yeah. But it, I, it's kind of the stupidity of it in a sense that uh, I don't know what I'd do if I was mm -hmm. in that position. Mm -hmm. But I think I'd think, you know, I'm the premier of the province. Mm -hmm. Or I'm the president of the United States or the prime minister of Canada. Yeah. Untouchable. And it's just... Uh, Maybe in four mm. years I can have an affair if I'm unhappy oh, I at see home. Yeah. But maybe not now. Yeah. Maybe it's just maybe I could get my thrill other places. <laughs> I have a hunch that that was not the first oral sex that was ever had in the Oval oh, Office. Oh, I'm sure you're right. Yeah. 
I'm sure you're right. Well, I'm not sure, but yeah, I, uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's just that we're in a mm -hmm. much more modern media. I mean, right. in many ways, I think that was set up by sure. Lewinsky and her mother saving the dress. All that stuff is so... You know, uh, we don't know, and yeah. none dare call it conspiracy. But when you yeah. see somebody with six felony charges, mm -hmm. uh, like a, like a, a John Edwards, what yeah. what to do? The yeah. uh, Dominic Strauss Kahn, head of yeah. the International yeah. Monetary mm -hmm. Fund, yeah. different situation. Totally he allegedly different. has yeah. raped a maid in a yeah. New York hotel, yeah. and the French suggest that we're just too prissy over yeah. here, yeah. and. You no, know, no, not, a man not of for his that. Ilk, we should just let him have his no, life. No, no. But that's entitled. Are you saying the French are saying that, that that's okay I think the for French a man are to saying rape a that woman? No, I think the French are saying that uh, we shed too much light on it as as press. Oh wow! Like you know, things happen all over the world, and and they haven't proved this yet either. I know, I know. They don't know if she's telling the truth or not. Exactly. But they Because it's been uh, so prominent in the news, yeah. the French are saying. Well, we what's were in, the big deal? We Why are you covering it so We were much? vacationing in, in Paris when the Clinton story broke, and the French were saying, what's the big deal? I could mm -hmm. understand that. Okay. I can understand them saying, what's the big deal about Schwarzenegger? Right. But I can't understand them downplaying rape. an alleged rape. No, I understand. Yeah. Again, yeah. alleged. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I can't understand a man who has a wife who is fighting breast cancer, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. having a mistress on the side, and yeah. a secret son, yeah. or a yeah. secret child, not yeah. son. And... What's it, to that me, about? It, it calls into question the ability of forming a deep personal relationship. Mm. Uh, when you have that level of emotional connection, uh, I find it difficult to understand how that can be shared with somebody else. Right. Um, uh, you know, there's the scripture in the Bible that says, you, you know, you cannot serve two masters. You'll either love the one, hate the other. Right. And um, for a long time, I believe that open relationships, that many could achieve that. I'm not so mm -hmm. convinced of that now. I think some can. I think some can, but sure. I don't think most can because we're naturally dyadic in our nature. We want one, and that energy will go to one. But it is human to be attracted to all oh, different Oh, no, no, people. absolutely. It's just so a now, part of who we I, are. When I talk about open relationships, I'm not talking about recreational sex. Swingers right. do that. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about forming a parallel relationship in which you are equally kind of committed and emotionally involved. Sure. The, I have two members of my PhD committee. Both have been in long-term polyamorous relationships. For them, it worked. Yes, uh, and but we see many couples, our own friends, who uh, one day she finds out or he finds out yeah. that uh, his or her spouse is having an affair. Yeah, but that's secretive, you see. That's deception. Well, it's like Shania Twain. Yeah. You know, uh, I mean, yeah, she's course. with Mutt, and Mutt is having an affair with her best friend. I know, I know, I know. And you think... But when I'm talking about... Why would the best friend do it <laughs> more than Mutt? I, I get that he did it. I don't yeah. get the best friend would... But that would hurt more. Of course. You know what I mean by an open relationship. Mm -hmm. There's no deception. It's open. Exactly. Yeah. We say, yeah. you and I, we're a exactly. team, but we also have other mates and partners, That's and right. that makes our relationship better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I get yeah. that. Yeah. But I don't know uh, still. No. I guess, it's, is it just human nature that no matter what you do, if you're the plumber or the prime minister, mm -hmm. no matter what you do, mm -hmm. you just... I think can't what, behave, no, but I think, as my uh, granny would say. For men especially, I'll have to admit that I think power is intoxicating. Mm. And I think uh, they come to a place in which they feel they're untouchable. And so within oh. that kind of uh, cocoon, they feel they can kind of do what they want. I think that's their Achilles heel. I think it gets okay, them into trouble. Okay, so untouchable. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And um, it's, uh, but I think that's only one variable amongst many. I sure. think the issue of a dead marriage, I think the issue of a sexually starved marriage, the issue of being untouchable, all of those come together. I don't mm. think it's one cause. Right. So as we read the headlines, the salacious headlines, uh, we should always ask more. Oh, absolutely. Because we so don't know what was happening between Maria and Arnold, absolutely. what the dynamic was, absolutely. or any of that, or what Maria does. We yeah. just don't. Yeah, that's Why exactly. do we care is the question. Exactly. That's a that's the question. We can talk about that next. Now, time. my wife had Spock in her uh, uh, thing. I said, "Who's she your did? secret love?" And she opened it up, and there was Spock with his big really? ears. Really, in her heart? <laughs> yeah, it was a joke. Well, who knew? <laughs> you see? I actually asked her to put it in. <laughs> yeah, well, there there are trackies in there. You've got trackies. a you've got a Canuck in there. I just know it. I do. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. David McKenzie, <laughs> our guest. Remember, you can catch all of our Studio 4 shows on YouTube or follow us on Twitter for the latest show information. Tomorrow, world-class authors write about their fathers and how dads shape our lives. Andre Girard has put their stories together in an anthology that will help you appreciate your relationship with your dad. And young girls' body image and self-esteem are part of her focus. An author looks at sexuality, 
why it is healthy, and why sexualization of young women is not. Thanks for watching Studio 4. There will be lots more on Shaw TV, only on Shaw TV.